Welcome to Books for Success. Today, we're delving into the wisdom within, Getting the Love You Want, by Harville Hendricks. Discover the straightforward principles of Omega therapy based on open communication, self-analysis, and loving behavior to enhance and deepen your relationships. You'll learn the chemistry of love, to recognize your childhood traumas, how the unconscious mind rules your decisions, why therapy is crucial, how the old and the new brains impact your relationships. Subscribe and ring the bell for notifications if you want to keep receiving the knowledge of book summaries about health, wealth, love, psychology, and much more. Don't be shy about dropping your book suggestions for us to summarize. Also, you can use this video as an audiobook summary. Let's grow and succeed together. It's possible to have a happy relationship, no matter what you see happening around. Change is the only constant thing in life. This logic applies to marriage and relationships too. Romance has undergone many changes globally, and more to come as society advances. For instance, in the past, the average marriageable age for men ranged between 23 to 24 years and 20 to 21 years for women. However, recently, people starting around the ages of 20 to over 25 are in school or at work. Young people hardly think of getting married and starting a family at 20. Another factor triggering a change in relationships is the fact that there are so many failed marriages in society which makes most young people scared. But every shift in society comes with its upsides and downsides, some benefit and some victimize. Social media is a good example. It undoubtedly helps many couples stay in touch and grow their friendship, especially those in long-distance relationships. At the same time, more people rely on the internet for excitement instead of relating with their fellow humans placing a strain on many marriages. We must realize that in relationships and marriages, what everyone earnestly desires is to find a love that is true and lasts. Humans innately need to unite with and stay connected to someone they consider special. Thankfully, it's possible to build a relationship that stands the test of time no matter what has happened in your past or how the world has changed. The pages you're about to read will expose you to ways you can keep your relationship pleasurable, You'll also learn one wonderful solution to the problems of intimacy, marriages, and relationships in general. Amago therapy, which we'll start talking about in the next chapter. Did you know? A 2016 survey by mobile analytics software Flurry shows that a lot of people in the US spend at least 5 hours a day on their smart devices and laptops. Everybody brings an element of their past to current relationships. Amago therapy suggests that most couple problems stem from their unconscious mind. In other words, the chances are that one person in every couple has experienced an occurrence that registered in the unconscious, which now affects their relationship. The unconscious mind keeps some memories so deeply that they seem almost non-existent. Memories like these only come to the surface when something happens. Meanwhile, the unconscious mind is active at all times. The thoughts we think and actions we carry out while conscious cover its activities. Amago therapy explains that the memories of the past brought to the forefront by the unconscious mind can create a need for several unrealistic expectations. For instance, a child who feels loved through touch but was barely held by the parents may have become an adult but still has the desire to have physical contact a lot. The unconscious mind is so powerful that it alerts your brain of its desires, sometimes without your knowledge. The brain then goes to work to get what was requested. The brain is divided into three, the brainstem, the limbic system, and the cerebral cortex. Messages use the brainstem to travel between the brain and other body parts, while the limbic system takes care of long-term memory and strong emotions. The brainstem and the limbic system are generally called the old brain, responsible for most of your reactions. The cerebral cortex is accountable for cognitive functions and decision-making, the cortex alone is referred to as the new brain. It is responsible for the real, you. The old brain always seeks to protect itself. In the process, it can clash with the activities of the new brain. By becoming more conscious of the old brain and less aggressive, you will have fewer arguments and operate in your new brain more easily. This awareness will enable you to enjoy better intimacy in your relationship as your actions and reactions will become more intentional and loving. Socialization and childhood disconnection from parents are a reason for unmet expectations in adults. Childhood is a crucial formative period in everyone's life. 
In childhood, we all get affected by the mannerisms of the immediate people around us. By discovering more about your partner's childhood wounds, as Omega Therapy suggests, you both can gain more insight into how to avoid conflict. For instance, someone abused verbally as a child might get hurt and reminded of the past at the slightest change in the voice tone of their partner. A partner who had no idea would keep wondering why and unknowingly keep pressing the trigger. But, partners who tell each other about their childhood experiences have a better chance of a mutually satisfying relationship. As much as it is beneficial to spend time talking about our past, woundology, a situation that involves couples spending too much time dwelling on the past, should be avoided. Anytime you focus on the negative, you will continually be negatively affected. But if you acknowledge your partner's pain, you will feel more compassion, overlook more mistakes and avoid unnecessary conflicts. Apart from challenges related to the home front, Socialization can also cause psychological scars affecting future love relationships. Victims of socialization feel trapped in a society that tells them who they are and how to live. People like these lose touch with their potential and end up feeling like how society has defined them as who they are. Many childhood wounds that result from this can also lead to feelings of self-insufficiency, leading to a continuous desire for validation in relationships. We all have voids we hope someone will help us fill, when people choose romantic partners that complement them, it is to help fill a void from their past. However, as time goes on and they begin to see each other's weaknesses, the excitement of romantic love becomes replaced with tension. At the early stage of any relationship, the brain releases dopamine and norepinephrine, which causes attraction to deepen. Oxytocin which is involved in sexual excitement and social bonding between mother and child, is also released. These hormones are responsible for the sexual feelings and desire to be together. They also promote feelings of comfort and security. When you fall in love, the old brain merges your partner's image with the image of your parents or guardian. Therefore, the attraction between two lovers can be likened to a mother's bond with her baby. The initial stages of love and attraction are usually lovely until conflict begins. During the conflict stage, it is advisable to solve disagreements through dialogues instead of making negative declarations often. By having a reasonable dialogue, just as Omega Therapy suggests, you will discover your childhood memories and the reason for your reactions. To improve things during a heated argument, a partner may write what they hate more about their partner on a piece of paper. For instance, you don't listen to me. You're always on your phone even when I'm sharing something serious. After stating the problem, you may answer the following questions. How do I feel about my partner's actions? Behind these thoughts and feelings, what feelings do you think lie deeper? Did I feel this way as a child? Reflecting on these questions can help you determine if your partner's behavior has triggered any childhood memories that may have caused your emotional reaction. Did you know? Scientists have discovered through natural hormones and chemicals that lovers are high on substances that give them a sense of well-being when they are in love. The old brain and the new brain ally to help give the right kind of love. The old brain plays a lot of positive roles in love relationships. It represents our unconscious mind, and it is ever committed to safety. The old brain is also interested in helping us achieve the joy and freedom we had as children. The old brain is spontaneous and reactive, and it is usually quick to respond to actions. Although the old brain wants us to enjoy our relationships, the new brain knows how to make rational choices. By using the old brain's robust instincts in conjunction with the new brain's cognitive gifts, there can be a chance to bring lasting love to a relationship. With support from the activities of the new brain, you no longer have to go through the power struggle. You also learn to make crucial decisions and control your fight-or-flight response. Some characteristics of a relationship that combines the usefulness of the old and the new brain are Your eyes become open that your relationship can be affected by your childhood limitations, Hence, the need to rid yourself of such limitations with or without your partner's help. You become aware that your partner is not perfect but just another fellow struggling to be happy. You learn to ask for what you want from your partner politely. You can put your partner's needs and wishes above your own. You avoid negativity and focus on securing your relationship. You find new ways to overcome your challenges. You work towards discovering your partner instead of judging them. You become more interested in your need to be loving and helpful to your partner. You brace up for the challenge of building a lasting relationship. Did you know? Hugging an intimate partner can eliminate stress instantly. 
Partners can avoid exits in relationships by practicing the Amago dialogue. Exits in the relationship context refer to how we act out our feelings without speaking. For example, if you decide to sleep over at your aunt's place rather than tell your partner that you don't want to see them, that's an exit. Actions like these create gaps in a relationship. You can reduce or prevent exits by avoiding making assumptions about your partner. By assuming your partner is identical to you, you do not regard them as their own person. A normal relationship suggests that you realize that your partner is not an extension of you. If you can't recognize your partner's existence as they are, then it can cause continuous conflicts. The Amago dialogue is one way you can help your partner. This dialogue helps you listen to your partner better by focusing on their words instead of your inner voice for them. The use of the Amago dialogue promotes a deeper emotional connection between two partners. This communication makes each partner feel safer in the other's presence, causing partners to feel closer. The Amago dialogue involves three steps. Mirroring. Validating. Empathizing. Mirroring involves repeating what the other person said the way you understood it to ensure you did not misinterpret what you heard. It helps both partners feel heard and understood. Validating involves affirming to your partner that how they were thinking and what they were thinking were sensible. It is acknowledging that you understand why they thought the way they did. After understanding why your partner felt the way they did, empathizing involves showing concern for how your partner feels. It's much easier to be empathic if you feel you've done something you agree isn't right. Did you know? Most people boast about how well they know their partners, but everyone wants someone continuously interested in learning about them. Therapy can help you readjust your reactions to situations and avoid conflict in a relationship. Most people think once feelings fade, the relationship is near its end. But, it is possible to rebuild romantic love from scratch through therapy. Therapy helps people find the cause of their difficulties and challenges. For instance, gaining insight into an individual's childhood problems can hint at handling an issue. Once the cause of the challenge is known, the therapist can help couples find a way to regain their mutual happiness. This process often involves giving the partners activities they can perform together to rebuild the emotional connection. You build better intimacy with your partner by engaging in more loving behaviors. These may include hugging them every night before bed, giving each other a back rub, or kissing your partner first thing after returning home from work. Another caring behavior is the surprise list. It involves planning several elements of surprise to put a smile on your partner's face. These surprise actions release the hormone dopamine, which brings joy. Another type of caring behavior in your relationship is utilizing a fun list. A fun list shows different activities you can perform. These activities relate to fun. They include pillow fights, massaging, showering, and indoor games. As much as you make it a thing of necessity to do all of these things, you need to avoid being addicted or restricted to a type of caring behavior alone. This technique is to avoid losing pleasure in it. Conclusion When going into any relationship, both the conscious and unconscious parts of the brain are involved. The unconscious part of the brain is interested in our past desires and always interferes with our actions and decision-making. It is the part that makes people fall head over heels in love. The conscious part of the brain is interested in the present and logical reasoning. A combination of both parts brings about a healthy relationship. Every time we interact with people, the brain feels the impact. According to brain doctors, childhood memories are recorded in the brain such that each time we face a similar experience, our response is influenced by experience. You may only have a faded recollection of your early memories, but once the old brain picks something similar, it brings it to your remembrance. This trip down memory lane may cause you to react irrationally in your relationship, especially if the memory caused pain. The Amago Dialogue helps lovers avoid drama in relationships through effective communication. It creates a safe atmosphere for lovers to have conversations and talk about everything freely. Your Amago is a picture of yourself with some unique characteristics plus the character traits of those who cared for you as a kid. Romantic love happens between you and a person when the person's characteristics match your Amago. When lovers see each other as separate individuals struggling to improve, they overlook each other's excesses, value each other, give without expecting anything in return, and commit to themselves more. Couples who have reached this advanced stage no longer bother or accuse each other of simple things. Instead, they develop a strong capacity to love others. Try this. Practice visualizing love. 
Spend three minutes daily in meditation. With your eyes closed, imagine how you want your partner to be. Treat them the way you envision them, and watch as the magic happens in your relationship. Thanks for being part of our insightful voyage. If our summary piqued your interest, we encourage you to dive into the complete book for a deeper understanding. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content if you're new here, and share it with others who might find it valuable. Keep on reading, discovering, and advancing until our next adventure.